I'm Breck. Today's two minute tip topic is how to tell if it's time for your loved one to get a little extra help at home. The first thing you wanna do if you're concerned about your loved one's safety is to pay a visit to their house. When you get there, start in the kitchen. What you're looking for here are maybe piled up dishes in the sink or stacks of unopened mail on the counter. In the kitchen, you're also gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up the refrigerator Look around for, you know, what your seniors eating. Are there any expired foods or foods that are, you know, past their prime that they shouldn't really be eating? And then also check to see if they're depending a lot on frozen and processed foods. A lot of times seniors do this because mealtimes can be especially lonely for them, um, but they don't necessarily get the nutrients that they really need to stay healthy with these processed and frozen foods only. When you're over there, you'll also wanna go ahead and take a look around the bedroom See if there are piles of laundry and just, you know, general clutter throughout the entire house that is kind of abnormal for them. Also, maybe ask them when the last time was they changed the sheets on their bed or if they would like some help with that. You'll also want to look over your loved one's medications. A lot of seniors are on 8 to 15 medications that are supposed to be taken at different times of day, some with food, some without, and it can become pretty complex to manage. So just take a look, kind of see if you can identify if they're taking them correctly or might be having trouble with that. Lastly, you'll want to see are they making it to all of their normal social outings. If your senior is starting to miss things that they've never really missed before in the past, that might be a sign that they're a little bit afraid of driving. Um, but a lot of times seniors don't want to admit this to their family members because they see it as, you know, one step of losing their independence. And so it's just kind of something that frightens them. So it's good if you can bring up the conversation if you think that might be something that's on their mind. So all of these are ways to identify that your, your senior loved one um, might just need a little extra help to stay safely in their homes.